Greetings YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead. Today I'm back in the kitchen and I am going to make um, some cookies that we make each and every year. They are either called a um, Italian wedding cookie or we call them snowballs. Um, this is for a collaboration. Um, Sherry from Two Family Homestead started a cookie collaboration so we thought we would make um, this cookie that we make each year our children refer to it as snowballs and we can't go a year without making them they absolutely love them it's kind of a shortbread cookie with um, pecans in it um, but um, others call it the Italian wedding cookie so what we're going to first do is we're going to take a softened kind of softened stick of butter you'll need a whole stick of butter we're going to put it in the food processor I know it seems like I've been bringing you all kinds of sweets but it is Christmas and this is one that every family should make. It is so very simple. Um, it doesn't take very long. The baking takes about 45 minutes and it kind of gets baked on a slow 275 um, temperature. So it's done a little bit slower, but that's kind of how shortbread is. But I just wanted to share some of the things that are special and dear to our heart. And this is one of them. This is one of those cookies that my mother-in-law, Annabelle Morris, um, taught me years and years ago when I first got married. This was one that the family always made, so I had to keep the tradition going. And my children love it, and it wouldn't be Christmas without it. They ask for it. So I wanted to share it with you. I'm not crazy about shortbread. This is not a favorite of mine, but because my family loves it, I make it. To tell you the truth, I don't know if I've ever even eaten a whole one because <laughs> I just don't care for shortbread. Okay, so I'm going to cream the sugar and the butter together. Two tablespoons of our raw organic sugar. Oops, wrong bowl. And this is a drier kind of cookie, so. Um, I will be wetting my hands and making balls and then I will put them on my cookie sheet and bake them for 45 minutes. It's not a cookie that kind of comes together on its own. It's crumbly. So you kind of have to um, put it together yourself in balls. Okay, I'm going to blend the sugar and the butter together. See the butter and the sugar has come together. Then I'm going to add the cup of flour. Blend it again. with a hand blender or hand mixer as well whatever you prefer it probably would come together a little bit better if you did it with the hand mixer but either way works just fine this is one of those recipes that you can just kind of do what you need to do with it okay so I'm going to get this off of here and as you can tell, it resembles, you know, coarse crumbs. That's kind of what, um, how shortbread cookies are. They kind of resemble crumbs. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in this bowl so I can add the pecans to it. I have a cup of pecans that I put in my little chopper. It's kind of like a little mini food processor and it chops the nuts up real fine for you because um, nuts are incorporated in this recipe. Oops, a little bit more. Don't want to waste any, any of that yummy goodness. <laughs> okay, so here I have a cup of chopped pecans. 
And you definitely want to use pecans. Um, it's all about the pecans in this recipe. And then I need a fourth teaspoon of salt. See how simple that is? Just a few ingredients, not much at all. And like I said, you know by now, I'm all about simple. <laughs> okay. So I am just going to mix this up. And as you can tell, it's very dry. That's kind of how shortbread is. Okay. There we go. The pecans are delicious. They smell wonderful. I love pecans. Um, there are certain nuts that I do not like, but pecans are a favorite. And, um, oops, just gonna kind of get it all over myself. What's the fun of baking or cooking if you can't get it on yourself? <laughs> um, there is a place here in town called um, Peck and Gins. And um, I'm going to do this handy dandy little scooper here. They have the most delicious um, custard. And boy, I ask for just a tiny scoop, but I ask for extra pecans always. And they're so gracious they will sell us oops that didn't work real well it looks like I'm gonna have to do it by hand I wasn't sure I thought I would do it that way this time but didn't work so we're gonna go ahead and do it by hand I'm gonna wet my hands it doesn't stick to my hands but anyway um, so we go over there and I ask for just a tiny bit of um, the custard but extra pecans, oh my word. Isn't that funny? Gene wants the, he wants the, uh, the custard, I want the pecans. <laughs> I'm not real big on ice cream, but he sure is. Okay, this is giving me a hard time. Looks like I'm gonna end up working for this. Okay, it's coming together, little by little. As you can tell, they're just tiny little balls let me show you what they look like. That's how you want them to be, just small like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish this um, tray, and then I'm going to show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. Okay, guys, I got them all rolled out. I had to add a little bit more butter because they were kind of dry. I think I added extra pecans. <laughs> so I had to add a little bit more butter. But as you can see, the cookies are out. How many cookies did you make? I don't know. Count them. Twenty-one cookies. Okay, I am now going to stick them in the oven, um, two seventy-five for forty-five minutes, and after that, we're going to roll some in powdered sugar. Some we're going to drizzle with chocolate. And I think we may even do some with peppermint bark. So we'll show you once they come out of the oven. Okay, guys, they came out of the oven. I ended up having to run some errands. We do a little food ministry. Um, actually, there's a food ministry in town. And when they have excess um, of a, you know abundance of things, they will call me. And I will come pick up what they have and distribute it among the homeschool families that we know. Today was venison. Um, we have a place called Share the Harvest, and they will call the food ministries around when they have a lot of extra deer meat, and then we are blessed with a bunch of deer meat. So we went ahead and picked that up real quick, and now we have to distribute. But anyway, the cookies have cooled down nicely. I went ahead and did a few of the powdered sugar. Now I'm gonna take and I'm going to Drizzle some chocolate. Well, maybe it'll drizzle, maybe it won't. Maybe we'll, I think what we'll probably do is we will dip them. Better yet, look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and dip the tops. No right or wrong way to do these guys. Chocolate didn't want to drizzle this time, but that's okay, we'll dip them. I'm gonna see how my family likes them with the chocolate because they prefer the powdered sugar. So I'm just gonna do a few with the chocolate. I was gonna do peppermint, but the boys didn't think it sounded good with, uh, with the pecan. So we decided not to do the peppermint. 
But again, there's no right or wrong way. You can do whatever. That's the nice thing. These are kind of forgiving. They taste good no matter what. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the rest of these in the powdered sugar. Oops. Actually, you're supposed to do the whole thing. I feel like I've been running all day today, so this is kind of a, a crazy video. But we'll get it done. We wanted to just do this little collaboration that uh, Sherry at Two Family Homestead started. We wanted to show you a cookie that our family loves. It's a traditional cookie on our homestead. And this definitely is one of them besides molasses. Molasses cookies are a favorite. They are my all-time favorite. Now those I could sit and eat a few too many of. <laughs> I have to admit, I love molasses and I use the, uh, the, the black strap molasses so it makes the cookies that much darker instead of like a sorghum, but it's so good for you. Okie dokie, I am down to the last two. There we go, and I hope that you will give these a try if you have never made them. They are absolutely delicious. So very simple. They take a little bit of time to bake. You know, 45 minutes for a cookie is a long time, but they cook low and slow, and they are worth every bit of that time, guys. Look at that, delicious. Those chocolate ones are a bit interesting because they couldn't drizzle, but it's okay, they're dipped, they're gonna be yummy. But anyway, um, I hope that maybe you will try to be part of this collaboration and show us um, a favorite cookie that, um, that you make on your homestead because we're always looking for new recipes. But anyway, guys, give us a thumbs up, um, like our video, share it with a friend, and until next time, guys, God bless you.